Hello everyone, welcome back to a Trader Joe's haul because it's Friday and this week has been quite the whirlwind. Benson started kindergarten and it's just been feeling like go, 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 go and today is normal because I'm filming so I feel like today, like right now is a little sense of normalcy but um, Benson had a great first day of school and today is his third day so um, this week of Trader Joe's, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the sparkling beverages, uh, literally every line you can see behind me that Trader Joe's carries. I want to share those with you because there's a new one, um, so we'll get into that. And then I'm also going to share with you all of the salad kits because there are so many at Trader Joe's now and I wanted to just do a side-by-side -side comparison and show you them all. There were a few I didn't get my hands on because they were sold out by the time I bought them, but we also have a new salad kit, so I just wanted to just throw everything out there and for you to visualize and see it all together all at once. So that's the exciting part of this week's haul. There's a couple other new items that arrived and I don't think any seasonal stuff came back. Um, actually grapes, seasonal grapes. But um, other than that, it's going to be a really fun and really visual haul. So get your writing utensil out and your paper so you can make your list for this week. And of course, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and we will get into it right now. I thought it would be fun this week to compare all the salad kits that Trader Joe's sells and all of the sparkling beverages that they have come out. I have the whole line of each one. So let's get started right here. Actually, let's get this bad boy out of the way. So. Um, one of my coworkers is a genius when it comes to picking out watermelon. He picked me one out um, last week. Tim and I devoured it in literally two sittings and it was the best watermelon that we've had this year. And so he picked another one out for us and I cannot wait to try it. And he said it's all about the sound. It has to sound like something. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but he picks out the best watermelon and I don't know if it's just the end of the season too that there are a lot sweeter but um go get yourself one last watermelon before summer is over now to the salads so i got another of the delicious salad kits so this is the new salad that trader joe's came out with but actually there is a newer salad that just came out this week and i'm going to share that with you very quickly but now i'm going to go through all of the salad kits that Trader Joe's sells, actually not quite all. Some of them were um, gone by the time I went to buy them, but here's the majority of them. So we've got the delicious chopped salad. We have the vegan ranch crunch. This is a really delicious salad, especially if you like ranch and you want it to be vegan. This is fantastic. And I love all these chopped salads because everything comes very chopped fine. So you can get a forkful and it's not like getting dressing all over the sides of your mouth and on your face. Um, that's why I like these chopped salads so much. Uh, the Southwest Chop, one of my absolute all-time favorites, of course. Then the barbecue and black pepper Toscano is back in. So this is a seasonal salad. It's not here year-round. I believe this came out for the first time last year, and it is a really good salad. Also, the Mediterranean style salad kit is another favorite among so many people. I haven't had this one in a really long time, but I'm kind of excited. I've been eating salad every day and it's fun to like, you know, have these kits ready to go. It makes life so much easier, especially when you have a kid in school now. Um, Benson's doing great, by the way. He loves school. He comes home with the biggest smile and tons of energy. So I'm just, my heart is so happy that he's doing so well in school and he likes it. Um, also, the organic Caesar salad kit. This is one of my favorites for Caesar because um, as a vegetarian, I can't have many Caesars. Most of them have anchovies in the dressing. This one does not, so um, I really enjoy this salad kit and so does Tim. Tim loves Caesar, it's like his favorite. So I love getting this and splitting it in half and we'll add some chickenless chicken to it usually is what I do and we'll both eat it and it's really yummy. Um, and the broccoli and kale slaw, this salad is, has been around for so long and it's still beloved by so many people and it's like still one of the top sellers of all the salads Trader Joe's sells. So 
also have that option. Now to the new salad. So the Miso Crunch Chopped Salad Kit. This is brand new, came in this week. It has green cabbage, red cabbage, carrots and kale, chow mein noodles, cashews, sesame seeds, and a sesame miso dressing. It says it's a complete salad kit. And on the back here we have the nutrition facts for you. You can read down the line there. And then also the ingredient list as well. So you can see here what they have in it. And then just real quick, it does contain egg, soy, sesame, wheat, and cashew. So this is a very exciting new salad. I can't wait to try it. We're gonna try it in the taste test this week. And um, if you guys are interested, go pick it up now because as we know, the new stuff at Trader Joe's, it's there and then you blink and it's gone and you have to wait till it comes back into stock. So um, new item for sure. Now to Tim's favorite, big soft pretzels. He loves these things and I just keep them stocked in the freezer at all times. And then I had to get one last box of the Ube Mochi. Tim loves, 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 loves this Ube Mochi. So I um, grabbed one more box. I don't know, staying in season for longer than last year, so that's great. Um, if you guys have been waiting for this Ube Mochi, Go get it now, it's still around at Trader Joe's. It's been around um, for like um, almost like two months now, which is crazy. So great to have that still in stock. And then a brand new frozen boba kit just came in. So this is the instant boba kit, brown sugar tapioca pearl drink mix. It is vegan and gluten free, um, ready in less than a minute. So there are four boba pouches in this. You find it in the freezer section once again and um, apparently it's really easy to do. So preparation, either microwave or stovetop. And here is the nutrition facts and the ingredient list for you. So I'm really curious to see how this is gonna go. I've heard um, some really good things about it. Long story short, I'm just really excited to try this in the taste test and see how it tastes. I love the brown sugar um, flavor for my coffee, so I'm excited to try this one as well. Um, I'm gonna put this frozen stuff away and I will be right back. All right, so I'm gonna just show you real quickly some school stuff for my son. Got some apple mango cr fruit crushers. He loves these. Got some more of the mac and cheese just because I'm anticipating it going out of stock again. Um, this is my favorite shelf stable uh, salsa. So this is the chunky salsa. It is so flavorful, so delicious, and it is chunky. I really enjoy the texture of chunky salsa. I like to bite into the tomatoes and still have them intact and this salsa does not disappoint. So if you're looking for a new salsa or you're just curious to have one that's really flavorful and good, this one's fantastic. It is not spicy at all, um, but it's great on eggs and um, good with chips too. So got that. Now I also grabbed some more of the olives. So Benson loves these and I am gonna put one in his lunch today actually to see how he likes it. Um, in his lunch. So yeah, I just thought that was a fun idea to have that for him. And then I got some new grapes. So we've got the gumdrop grapes and these smell like candy. I smelled them and I was like, wow, I have to buy these because they smell so good. And then I also got the temptation grapes, which look at how large these things are. I feel like they're gonna be so juicy and so delicious. I like biting into a nice, firm grape that kind of like pops when you bite into it. And I feel like these grapes are going to be that in a nutshell or in a grape shell, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, two new grapes to try, can't wait. And then I got some wine. So I got some white wine this week to share with you. And actually we got to do a little tasting at my work and we're able to try this Chardonnay, um, the Trader Joe's Reserve Chardonnay, Sant Santa Lucia Highlands, and it's a 2020. It was a really, really good Chardonnay, and I really enjoyed it, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna buy a bottle. And then I also got the Kono, which I've talked about so many times. It's just a really nice, crisp, refreshing bottle of wine. And this week in particular, in California where I live, it has been extremely hot, so red wine is not like the vibe for this week and this weekend, so I thought, let's get some white wine and have it chilled, and it'll be really, really refreshing and nice. We also got in a new goat's milk cheese. It's a jalapeno and honey, and I'm excited to try this. Goat's milk cheese is, it used to be, 
actually really hard for me to tolerate, but I've gotten more of an acquired taste with like trying it over the years. I feel like it definitely is an acquired taste, but once you start getting used to it, it's really delicious, very creamy, and has like a very unique flavor to it. Now with the jalapeno honey, it might mask that um, goat's milk flavor a little bit. So if you guys are curious to try it, I say get a flavored goat's milk cheese um, to try if you haven't tried it before. Um, and then you can work your way up to eating it plain once you get used to that flavor. It is much different than cow's milk, but I guess it's a lot easier to digest and things like that. So anyway, we'll be trying this in the taste test as well. And now let's get to the main event, which is all of these sparkling beverages. And we're gonna start here with the OGs. So these two have been around Trader Joe's for a very long time. They're kind of like the first in the class of these sparkling drinks to shine. And they are the rhubarb and strawberry soda, and then the lemon elderflower soda. So these are both I really enjoy. I like the strawberry one better than the lemon one, but these both make fantastic mixers. Um, I would say this one's, I actually both of them go really well with gin or vodka, um, but I've had coworkers experiment and make cocktails with these, and I feel like these two stand up the best to the cocktails just because of their unique flavors, and it just, it, it works really well. So there you go, those are the originals. Then we have, let's see, these are later on in the year. I think this was the next one, but I don't know. We're gonna start here though. So these are the, I will call them the tea line. So the sparkling tea line, we've got the white tea with pomegranate, we've got the black tea with peach juice, and the green tea with pineapple juice. These are all sparkling and all so much better when they're refrigerated. So um, if you're wanting to try any one of these, refrigerate and um, try them nice and cold. Now what I like about the tea line is there are um, no artificial flavors and everything is just basically exactly what you would expect. It's tea, um, peach juice, and then some preservatives um, to keep maintain freshness in the can. So, and then you can see the um, calories, nutrition facts, the calories are really low on these um, because essentially all it is is like literally just tea with an added little juice splash to it. And they're all like that. So you can see all of them are very similar to um, the black tea. Now these, I'll show you, are much different. These do have um, natural flavor and they are um, more high in sugar and all that stuff. So if you wanted something to be um, more of like um, sparkling water and not more like a, these are more like soda, these are more like sparkling water with just like a hint of flavor. So take your pick. Now to Tim's favorite of the line. So these are these sparkling juice beverages which are essentially just juice. Um, so this one is just pineapple juice, and then it has the um, the things to help preserve the flavor and freshness. And so you, so all you're really getting is just pineapple juice, water, and carbon dioxide. So just sparkling water with pineapple juice. Same with the strawberry and the watermelon. And Tim, he loves, loves, loves these. So it's like the most natural way to get a soda in if you're trying to cut back on like. Coke and all that stuff. So fantastic, love these. And then the last line we have, well actually this is like one of the first ones to come out, the sparkling coconut water with yuzu. Um, really actually refreshing. I just tried this the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot how good these are. Uh, if you haven't tried it, it's definitely a little different than like your typical sparkling coconut water because of the yuzu, but it is a really nice, refreshing flavor. So um, try it if you're curious. And then here we've got the like sparkling lemonades. So these do have natural flavors. They do have added sugar, and they are my least favorite of the line. At least this one is. This one I haven't tried yet. It's the sparkling tropical lemonade. This is brand new, and we will be trying this in the taste test. But the lemonade itself, I didn't, I wasn't a fan of. I almost felt like it was way too sweet. They added like too much sugar to it, or maybe I just was really used to these. But that's my assessment, um, and then let me show you, let me get this guy down here. Um, let's look at the nutrition facts, since this is a new box. 
a new product. We're gonna look at that and see what the nutrition facts are and then of course the ingredient list as well. It does have natural flavors, but what makes it tropical is there is passion fruit, pineapple juice, and guava juice in here. So I have high hopes. It sounds really yummy and perfect for you know, ending the summer with a bang. So here you go, brand new sparkling tropical lemonade. And then the last sparkling product I got are the new Proud Source Sparkling Waters. These came out a few weeks back and I adore them. They are so good. I just love the sparkling water. It's plain, but it does have like a, a flavor to it. So if you haven't tried it and you like sparkling water, wow, I just love these. I love Topo Chico too. Um, I think it's the smaller bubbles that are in these and the Topo Chico that I really like about it. So if you haven't tried it, go try it. They're all in cans. There's eight in here and I just keep them in my fridge nice and cold. And then the last thing I grabbed were the inner peas for my son's lunch again. But that is it. This is the haul for the this week. Lots of fun things to compare and um, all these salads are really fun too. So yeah, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And of course, check out tomorrow's video, the taste test with my husband. And Benson's not going to be it anymore because he's in school. So see you guys tomorrow in that video. Now that you've seen all the salad kits and the sparkling beverages side by side, is there anything that surprised you or maybe you forgot about some of them? Let me know in the comments below. I'm always curious to see what your thoughts are or if you were like, Psh, I know all of those by heart, I buy them all. Um, this is the first time I bought them all together which made it really fun to see and I can't wait to just start eating salad every single day. I have so many salad kits now in my fridge which makes me so happy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to check out tomorrow's video. I will see you over the taste test and like I said Benson's not going to be in it because he's in school now so it's just going to be Tim and I and occasionally we might have like a little appearance of him popping in if we shoot the video a little later in the day when he gets home. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!